Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. Today we are going to see regarding towards uh, IoT application how to interface the sensor. The study itself has given just a short intro regarding towards the Internet of Things. So once again I will uh, recall it. Embedded system is nothing but it is a device which works based on hardware and software. Hardware is for functioning and software is for providing the commands or controls to the respective hardware. It may be the motor, relay, sensor, everything. Sensors are known as the input device. Motor relays are known as the output device. And similarly, whenever we go for the IoT, it is a part of communication system. So what are the previous communications or other communications while well, compared to IoT is nothing but it comes under the uh, UART communication or known as serial communication. Then within that we have several communications like IoT, Bluetooth, GSM, RF, then LoRa. So these are all some sort of communications uh, present among this world. So this particular communications we are familiar with uh, GSM, IoT and at the same time Bluetooth. Because these three communications are readily available at our mobile. Okay, so within this particular mobile only, uh, we are able to work with multiple kind of uh, functions. Like through Wi-Fi nowadays, we are sharing the uh, movies and all with the help of the share it or Google file share in that way. And through Bluetooth previously, we used to send photos and uh, we used to share the music. Then through GSM, we used to send the messages. So this and all nothing but uh, inbuilt multi-function inside a particular mobile. So same functionally we have inside our Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi has an OS known as Raspbian. We are going to connect the sensors and that sensors, one sensor we will be sending the data towards our mobile using Bing app and another one sensor we will be using it to connect or uh, just detect the moisture with the help of a glass of water and from that we will be just uploading the data directly towards the ThingSpeak cloud. Okay. So this will be the two different sessions which is going to held on today and before that we have to know what is the cloud and what are the protocols and how this cloud is inbuilt with uh, some sort of protocols and what are the different protocols available in IoT. Okay. Okay. So I hope there is no uh, doubts in this particular recap. So let's uh, continue. So generally whenever we start to work with IoT or Internet of Things, the most important things are nothing but the protocols. So when we start with protocol and there is another one parallelly should we know regarding towards it none other than the cloud because all the internet facility workings completely it works only based on the cloud section so how this cloud is able to work over there it is a virtual kind of storage or a resource kind of system where we will be able to do multiple kind of access so what are the different types of clouds available in our particular society those are google Microsoft, Amazon. So these are the most highlighted cloud. Okay. So among this, all these companies are most familiar to everyone. Each everything has their own specific application. For example, we all are the client of Google. Okay. So in what way? And this is not only Google. Even Apple is also. Some of them will be using iPhone or MacBook. So they will be the client of their Apple. And those are using the Android. They will be client of the Google. So this particular Google Cloud with the help of a single mail ID, you will be able to store the data and uh, with the help of this Google itself, you will be able to uh, search the map location. You can search any kind of things, whatever you require. Then through Google Meet, you will be able to uh, meet someone virtually nowadays and at the same time through Google Classroom, you can share all the notes and the most important thing is Google Drive only. So yesterday itself, many of them has received a our materials through google drive itself like the recording video ppt this and that all kinds of functions that particularly comes under uh, which can be shared through the online so how the cloud protocol is mainly working over there this particular cloud as the virtual classes now whatever it is going on at present itself through zoom so zoom has a cloud server over there through which they will be able to access with the help of the 
particular ID or the registered ID in the Zoom software or maybe in their website. So with the help of that, they will be able to call, they will be able to explain, they can share their screen and uh, whatever the meeting is being conducted, it will be able to store it. And this particular storage can be done in two different types. One we can store it on our computer and another one we can store it in the Zoom drive. So even they also have their cloud. So through the cloud we will be having some limited access and here also we have some limitations in order to add the particular uh, data or in, in the way in the sense to share the data or to add number of participants and we can uh, enable that particular virtual option the virtual reality in the sense uh, if I turn on the camera and uh, make my particular background as blur or with any other kind of uh, image okay so you will be able to see in that particular manner only you won't be able to see what is behind me so in this way only they have just uh, improved this, their virtual reality and some of the algorithmic reality is like annotating on the screen so through screen itself we will be able to underline and show what kind of uh, word it is and what kind of option it is so in this way only that particular iot is being working in multiple fields so whenever we just uh, work on this particular iot oriented systems iot is mentally used for uh, multiple kind of industries or nowadays in education and for auto automobiles to track the vehicles especially if you go for uh, ola cabs uber cabs zoom car booking your cars or uh, booking any of the taxis other than ola uber so many of them has provided that kind of applications and through that we will be able to work it so with that particular uh, function of cloud only it is possible because within their cloud or server they will be storing all the data and upon to the data whatever we provide the uh, ui the user interface based on that the communication or the function will be working over there so in this way only the cloud is working all over the world with the help of internet so to develop a cloud what is a mandatory in the sense cloud computing okay but to work in this iot oriented automations or monitoring no need of re uh, studying regarding towards the cloud computing you have to study some sort of embedded as well as the multiple communications so here as well we can see within this particular image uh, which the cloud can be accessed to the multiple functions like amazon prime hotstar netflix this and all works only with the help of the cloud but within the cloud itself how to share the data uniquely to everyone for that only they will be using the protocols so what are the various clouds available for iot those are thingworks thingspeak microsoft azure google cloud internet of things in oracle cisco cloud and ibm watson so these are known as the multiple clouds available for iot so among this cloud today we are going to uh, work with uh, thingspeak for an online cloud and for uh, using blink app for the mobile cloud so it is a kind of application that also works based on cloud only but it can be only monitored or controlled with the help of mobile. thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.